Hello, this is Caleb with App Design Tips, and in this video, I'm going to show you the Tools panel. The Tools panel is where we begin all of our design. So starting things off, we have the Select tool, and just underneath that, we have the Rectangle tool. And this is pretty basic. It allows us to create rectangles. Now we have the Ellipse tool, and to create ellipses here, we can hold down shift to constrain this, the width and the height. And if we hold down shift option, we can pin that to the center. Now if we go back to the select tool, we can select this object and move it around. We have the line tool, and again holding down shift, we'll constrain this horizontally, vertically, or diagonal. Now this pen tool is like the other pen tools that you'll find in basic design programs like Photoshop, Illustrator. You can click on different regions to add points here. Now we've created an open shape if we just click escape here to get out of edit mode. And, and this pen tool also has a bezier feature. So if you click and drag, you can see that curve there. And if you hold down option, you can break that curve to get nice sharp corners. So it behaves basically the same as any other Bezier tool that you can find and then just clicking on the end point will close that shape. You can also change colors and other properties in this shape with the properties panel. Now moving on we have the text tool and this one's a little bit tricky because if you click on any area here and here we'll type some basic text and click away. Now if you click on the little circle below the text, you can scale the size up and down here. But you'll notice this little box, you can't change the width of the box here. So if you want to create a text box within a certain region, what you want to do is you want to click and drag the rectangle region where you want your text to live and begin typing inside that box. Now in box text, you can change the width and the text will wrap to the box but there's no real way to change auto width text to fix width text so if you ever click on an area to type and you want to change the width of that text box what you'll have to do is paste that text into another boxed region to be able to have control over those widths. Next we have the artboard tool and if you click on the artboard you can begin dragging an area for a custom sized artboard or you can select from a few presets. So they have presets for Apple products, Google products, Microsoft, and the web. So I can just click on the iPhone 6 artboard and it'll just auto-populate that artboard right on the side of my existing artboards. To zoom in, you can click on the zoom tool and drag a rectangle for the region that you would like to zoom into. Or you can hold down option and click to zoom out. Then lastly, near the bottom, we have the Layers and the Assets panel, which we're going to learn more about in a later video.